Okay, I don't know about you guys, but I've been doing a lot of sitting, especially at the kitchen table, helping my daughter with schoolwork. Um, so, my body's kind of revolting a little bit from, from sitting so much when I'm used to being on my feet all day. Some of you might be sitting in different chairs for work uh, from your office and responding a little bit to the change in your body. So, I put together a quick video um, with ballet, Pilates ballet stretches, just kind of get your body to move through a couple of different planes of motion and just kind of make it feel better, okay? Now, um, I typically do this on a Pilates ladder barrel. It's really comfortable and padded, and, but not everybody's gonna have that. So, thought about this. You can grab a chair, okay? Or if you have a recliner next to your sofa, so it's a little heavier chair, so the chair won't move, that's even more ideal. You're gonna have to kind of just look around your house and see where you can accomplish this. Um, also, I, I had my leg on the uh, back of the sofa, so it's soft, it's a little bit higher um, than me using the chair. Um, lower is, is gonna be easier for you, so if you're really tight, then lower is better, so you might be able to use the seat of the sofa. Um, so just play with it. I just brought this in here to video, so it's easier for me to video, okay? So I'm gonna be facing away from the, the high back of the chair, and I'm gonna put my leg on something, okay? If you're really flexible, then pick the, the top height of the sofa. If you're really tight, then you might pick the bottom of the sofa, or you can use another chair, okay? Anything that's firm. And really, we want this to be pretty firm and steady too, okay? Because we're gonna utilize this, okay? So you're gonna put one leg on top. I want you to stand up nice and tall <clears throat> in the standing leg, okay? Now typically when we have our leg up like this, we tend to be pretty tight and we tuck like this. So try to just relax your right sit bones and stand tall on your left leg. It might take a little concentration to kind of let go and try to find that neutral pelvis. If you're a sloucher in your chair like me here, we like to over tuck. Okay, so tailbone is long, both legs are straight and strong. Okay? The first thing we're gonna do to, to ourselves is bring our chin to our chest and start to curl in like we're one of those little roly-poly bugs rolling up, okay? My ribs are gonna kind of hide underneath my chest and my belly is gonna scoop up, in and up. And then I'm gonna lengthen out like a snake and try to flatten my back. And then come all the way back up with a flat back. So curl into yourself. Lengthen out, and then come up with a flat back. Let's do that one more time. Chin to chest, trying to keep my shoulders back. Don't let them round forward too much. Lengthen out, and then stack it back up nice and tall. Now we're gonna go the opposite direction, okay? We're gonna fold forward, try to bring our knee to our nose, and then you're gonna curl up through yourself. So I'm imagining stacking my spine up against an imaginary wall behind me. I'm gonna do that again, fold, and then curl up. Nice and tall, touch the top of your head to the ceiling. One more, fold. And then stack it up nice and tall. Okay, now, on this first one, yeah, a wider chair is probably gonna be more comfortable to you as well. That's why I keep playing with my arm placement. Okay, on this first one, I'm gonna ask you to lift your leg, but you might not wanna do it with gusto on the first one. You might just wanna contract it so it doesn't cramp, okay? so. I'm contracting it and thinking about lifting, but not actually lifting. And then I relax. I'm gonna do that two more times. Now with each one, let's just go a little bit more. Try to lift it. If you cramp, just kinda of take your leg down, shake it out. One more. Good. Try not to bend in this leg. Do you see how this really isn't lifting the leg? It's just bending the bottom leg. So try to stay tall in this. Stay tall in your torso and just lift. Okay, think about lifting from the powerhouse of the belly. All right, standing splits. We're gonna keep both legs strong, straight and strong. You're gonna slide your leg down the sofa. That's why you need enough sofa space to do so. Okay, so you see I'm going into the standing splits. My shoulders stay back. Okay, both legs are strong. Now, I'm not gonna just lean back to come back. I'm gonna try to draw up to come back in. Okay, let's do that again. 
standing splits, come up to come back in. Now, this is super hard. Don't go out too far. Just go a little bit. So I'm thinking about pulling this way to come back. Okay, so that's three. All right, so now I'm gonna put myself a little bit closer. Okay, put my leg back on top. I'm gonna pull it in like pigeon. If you've ever done pigeon in uh, yoga, it's pigeon, so I'm just externally rotating at the hip. I'm pushing down on the sofa or whatever, I'm, or the chair or whatever I'm doing it on. And then I'm gonna push it back out, but keep it externally rotated. So I'm trying to straighten it, but my kneecap is facing out to the side. Pull it back in, push it back out. One more, keep it in here. Okay, so we're holding here, we're still standing tall on our left leg, shoulders are back, torso is lifted. Okay, I'm gonna to try to lift the leg off the sofa. Okay, you can laugh right now because um, I have one person out of all my clients who can do this. So don't worry about lifting, just try to lift. Okay, one more, we're gonna do three of those. All right, now, what I want you to do is actively press the leg down into the sofa. And as I'm doing this, I'm thinking about pressing the knee long, like reaching, not pressing, but reaching that knee out long as I press my ankle down into the sofa. And then relax, do that again. Press down, reach the knee away. Keep standing tall in the left leg. And relax, one more. Six, five, four, three, two, relax. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is stay tall on my left leg. I'm just gonna lean my entire body straight and strong forward. And then lean back. Straight forward and back. We need one more. Okay, now extend your leg back out onto the sofa and you're gonna turn and face to the side of the sofa. Okay, sorry you're facing the back of me, but I'm gonna keep going with my setup here. Yes, baby? up and over. So I'm not just collapsing over, I'm reaching up and out. I'm lifting on this side even though I'm side bending on this side. I'm opening up my chest to the ceiling, my chin stays up, we tend to do this. So stay open on the side. Keep this leg straight and strong. As much as we're reaching this way, reach your left hip down and away. Okay, now we're going to go the opposite direction. So if my chair was here, I would just slide down the outside of the chair, just kind of bend this off. Once again, I'm still opening my chest. We tend to roll, rotate down, open and lift. Let's do that, two more on each side. Lift and open, rotate towards the ceiling, reach this arm up and out. One more on each side. Just feels good after sitting so much, especially in this wooden chair. Okay, hold center. Now, if I had my chair, I would kind of hold onto the chair right here. I'm gonna need the chair. Okay, that's okay. I'm gonna get it. No, I'm gonna have to show you. Let me switch this around for a second. So you can see. Okay. You're still facing sideways. Okay, here we are. That's better. Okay, so we've already done the side bend. Okay, so what we're gonna do is side split. So you're gonna slide out only as far as you can. We tend to want to turn this way. Stay side. We already did the facing forward. Okay, now you're gonna to wanna to come back like this. I want you to pull up to come back in. Okay, so I'm pulling up through here to come back up. I'm coming up through what we call our midline. Side splits, and then come up to come back in. Okay, it's okay to use this hand because you wanna go up. If you don't use this hand, we typically go this way. Okay, so don't be afraid to use your left armpit so you go up, okay? All right, so uh, let's try to lift the leg. So we're staying sideways, we're staying tall, staying tall, just try to lift. On that first
first one, you might want to not go with gusto, just nice and easy, contract. Let's go one more, let's make three. Okay, now, bend the leg. You say like you're in a western. My clients kind of make funny when I say that, but okay. Keep this arm in front of this leg, okay? You're gonna side bend, up and over. Once again, opening up the chest, not rounding and closing it off. Chin up, okay? As much as I reach up and over this way, this hip is reaching down and away. Now switch sides. Chest opening, three. Two. Hold center, staying tall, lean into this leg. Now, what's going on here? I'm kind of pushing open on this leg and keeping the chest up and tall. And then I lean back, three, two, one, okay? Extend that leg back out on top, turn and face the chair, okay? Now, <laughs> if you're sofa got a little high for this position, then go ahead and go to the, the bottom. Make it a little easier. Just lower whatever your surface is that you have it here. Okay? We're trying to square our hips around. So, first thing we're going to do is try to lift this leg. Okay? You might not be able to lift. If you do a lot of sitting, <laughs> you might not be able to lift. Just, just squeeze. There's just a squeeze. Or you can try to lift. What we don't want is for this to go down for this to lift because we're not really contracting our glutes. We're just changing the angle of our body, right? And three, okay? Back split, so we're gonna slide the leg back and then we're gonna come up to come back in. Three, two, one. Now bring your leg down and just hook your foot or your ankle on, on the sofa or the chair, okay? All right, okay? We're gonna, our hips are kinda cocked back and I want you to make sure your hips drive forward, come down in neutral pelvis. That stretch will get more intense here on the quad. Okay. Actively press your ankle into the sofa or the chair or whatever you're using. Hopefully it's something soft, otherwise that would be pretty soft. Now lean back with a straight body and then lean back forward. Three, two, one. Extend your leg back out on top. Okay. Make sure that your knee is on there. Bend your leg, flex your foot, and try to extend. Extend your leg back so it lifts you up nice and tall. Belly is drawing in. Open up that chest. Standing up nice and tall. Release. Okay, and now we're gonna switch sides. Okay, okay. Okay, so. We're here. Okay. Stand tall in your right leg. Relax your left sit bone. Did I switch legs on us? No, that's right. Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, curl into yourself and then length it out like a snake. Stack it up nice and tall. Okay, we're gonna go a little faster on this side since I've explained everything. One more, curl into yourself, ribs under chest. Belly scooping in and up, lengthen out, drag your head up the, the far wall. One more. Switching directions, fold, lengthen, flat back as much as you can, and then curl up through yourself. Three. Two. One, standing up nice and tall. Try to lift the leg and relax. Stay tall on that right leg. One more. Standing split, slide forward. Both legs straight and strong, so my right leg wanted to bend a little bit. Keep pulling up on that little, the right quad. Three, only go as far as you can control. Come up to come back in, two. And one. Okay, we're gonna turn and face the other side. Let me switch my stuff around so you're not staring at the back of me. Okay, here we go. Side bend up and over, 
chest opening up, chin up, and switch sides. Three. Two. One, try to lift the leg. Three, two, one. Side split, slide it out. Come up to come back in for three. Two, try not to lean. Pull up through your midline. One, okay? Oh, I forgot. I forgot. Uh, Sorry, let's go back real quick. So we're here, okay? Pull it in, like pigeon, and then push it back out. Pull it in like pigeon, push it back out. Keep it in, try to lift the leg. Now actively push down the leg, knee reaching away. Keep standing tall on the right leg, and relax, do that again. Last one more. Good. All right, now we're back here. We already did side bend up and over. Okay, we already did side splits. So we're gonna bend our leg and we're in a western. Okay, side bend up and over, chest opening up, chin open, chin up. Alternate. Trying to keep my hip against the chair. So I create opposition, one more in each direction. Lean into it with a tall body, this arm in front, pushing it open, trying to keep my hips squared towards the front. Extend your leg back out on top, turn and face the chair, try to lift the leg. Three, two, one, splits, and then come up to come back in. Three, two, one, bend your leg, okay, bring your pelvis underneath you, lean back, actively pressing your ankle into the chair or whatever you have it on, three, two, one, extend your leg back out on top, keeping your knee on top of the chair. Grab your ankle, flex your foot. Try to extend your leg back. Belly is drawing in and up. Okay, so then hopefully that helps you kind of move your body around, not too intense, but just a feel good little routine. Um, just message me if you have any trouble or have any questions.